Air Sign Collective. Let's get it. All right, so we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me knock out your collective reading today. Let's see what the angels, the angels, <laughs> speech communication. Gotta tap in, right? See what the angels and the ancestors and the universe has in store for you today. We'll be using it like fish to roll. My shiz night. Really should be watching my words. All right, so. If you need any personal tarot card reading, any spiritual coaching, that information can be found in the description box below on my social media handles. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and add value to the channel. Interesting messages. Energies marinate. I think this was... Was this the first deck I ever used? Well, I don't know. I know this is one of the first decks I ever purchased. But, well vetted. Alright. A few more shovels here. Getting some energies. Already seen the Emperor card. Alright. Air signs. Grinding your reading today. Gemini, Labor, Aquarius. We have... Judgment <laughs> could be considered balance or trying to come to some form of hmm. let me keep that to myself. Judgment, but you could be experiencing a spiritual awakening or seeing synchronicities at this time. You could be receiving wisdom from your ancestors or downloads, dreams, visions as well. Uh, coming to a crossroads of such, making a judgment call, um, using your perception or using what intelligence you have to make a clear decision or make the best decision that you can. Follow your instinct as well as uh, the information that you have in front of you. The information that you have in front of you could be a laptop or computer right now. Taking some type of test some form of judgment judgment spiritually your spiritual team could be casting judgment on you at this time huh tower funny as I said that as soon as I said that tower came up so your spiritual team is reconstruct reconstruct reconstructing your spiritual wisdom and your insights are causing tower moments or you're seeing changes around you and it's affecting you somehow, or it will affect you somehow, or it already has affected you somehow. Seven. You have to go within yourself to find the truth. Go within yourself to find the truth, which most people don't do. They don't know themselves. Again, I've been <laughs> pretty much lecturing this over the past year. People have to go within themselves. They worship everything outside of themselves. Come to the, realiz the realization of who you are. We are all made in God's image. We are all made in the Creator's image. Well, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Many are called, few are chosen, right? <laughs> my tower moment. I guess the biggest tower moment would be my liver transplant. There are many tower moments in my life. We have Ace of Cups. Bringing in... Ace, of course, being new opportunities. We have love, cups, emotions, emotional triggers, things that bring us feelings of uh, elated. <laughs> we start making up new words. But uh, this could also be a gift from the universe or a gift from your lover. Uh, I'm getting cherished. I'm getting nourishment and cherishment. <laughs> I was thinking a bunch of words and it, I was thinking of cherishing and, and <laughs> nutrition and it came out cherishment. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's going on. What? I haven't had a laugh in a reading in a while, right? But um, there's a tower moment here to bring in new love. This is, I think, I'm, I'm not sure if this is some type of, you're being, a new love is triggering your spiritual awakening or the divine in the universe is um, 
and I know it sounds funny to say that with um, with divination and things like that, but again, people go to Sunday every day and they believe in the God that they cannot see and has not put his literal hand in their lives one time. So it's hard to explain these things sometimes when we read divination, but you can definitely read the energy sometimes. <laughs> uh, this is love here. What is this though? This is love from your ancestors. Yeah. You're bringing in a little new love here. Or some type of gift. Your ancestors is practicing is practicing chaperone dating at this time. They're literally watching over you. This is not I'm not even getting making a the decision to move. This is literally your ancestors watching over you right now. Like remember when you was running outside and your mom would look out the door and tell you to come in the house? <laughs> Man or woman, we all experienced it. But yeah, this could be travel at this time or wanting to make a movement towards someone, seeking out destinations or new prospects. Maybe you've already have them. Maybe you already have multiple prospects. Hmm. Trying to find your peace. You know, this would be flirtation or looking back on past relationships. Coming out of difficult situations, the fives would have been difficult love situations. Six is our moment of victory, so you're looking back on the past or you're looking toward the future. Six of Pentacles would be uh, my flirtation card or growing emotionally, sort of coming out of heartbreak. But yeah, this is definitely a getting more ancestors here. We have the child uh, thinking about. Uh, his future or we have uh, this old man thinking about his younger self they've grown over time the wisdom has been passed down something about the number six but yeah more ancestral wisdom your divine your ancestors are at play here or you're you're more connected with your inner self Either way, however you believe it, God, ancestors, your inner self, Gaia. There are more energies at play here. There's a whole spectrum of names and languages, just like there's a whole spectrum of colors that we can or cannot see. Again, the seen and the unseen. Again, we only see really 10% or whatever. The scientists say less percent of the things that are really in front of us. We have memories in our head, but we can't see them in front of us unless we have extra perceptive capabilities. There's dust, there's smoke, there's germs floating in front of you right now. We don't take into account. How, how could he say these things? We don't, we don't take into an account the things that, that are literally in front of us that we can't even see. Like the love of others, the vibration or the love of, of other people. If you can literally see how fast... Um, I mean, you can actually see it. Some people are living on lower vibrations, so they're more lethargic, more lethargic. They're more sluggish. They're more angry. They're more upset. You know, their lives are not as abundant. They don't flow as easily versus people that are actually out and vibrant and abundant and you know absorbing vitamin D and that are eating right and healthy and keeping the flow. You know, the universe is always at flow. Imagine is the stunt the sun stopped we stopped we stopped orbiting the sun. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm getting a lot of divine intervention. I'm getting a lot of cosmic downloads right now. So let's pull some more cards. What is the air sign reading? Of course you would get deep on the air signs. Good lord, all this thinking. Here you go. More thinking in deep thought. You're experiencing an Ace of uh, Cups moment and an Ace of uh, Wands moment. This is Divine Wisdom. This is Spiritual Downloads. I have no doubt you'll come to decode this wisdom. This is a read the universe reaching, reaching into your subconscious to bring you inspiration. Maybe even a burst of passion, burst of wisdom. It could be planting a seed, 
I'm getting a seed here. They could be they could be attempting to plant a seed here. Again, divine ancestors at play. They're trying to plant a seed here. I don't know if this is a, a, an actual child. Because we have children here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even talk like that. What the heck is going on? So we have... Okay, so we have... Wow. There's going to be a... I don't know if there's already been a tower moment. But there's going to be a tower moment. <laughs> or your ancestors are showing you... Or... <laughs> This is your ancestors. <laughs> this is them at play here. They're they're coming down from the celestial realm to touch down on the earth plane somehow. Or that is the plan. They're freaking butterflies and squirrels here. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? This my mind is running right now. So Passion is wanting to be taken here. <laughs> Or wanting to be had. We have new love. We have children here. We have a spark of inspiration or a burst of wisdom. We know that ace, the ace of wands can symbolize the male phallus, depending on what tarot reading or what tarot card deck you're using. But this is literally still. I mean, I, the female version of this is literally what planting a seed, planting the seed of inspiration in her mind, leadership, compatibility, or planting the seed in her womb. Either way you look at it on whatever interpretation of the Ace of Wands, it always is always sex, passions, insights, sacral chakra, a lot of red and uh, orange energy. But um, this is this is how our ancestors passed down wisdom through love and um, conceptions. You know that's how marriages. That's I mean literally. I mean marriages weren't about love. They were about. Um, business and whatnot business type commitments the family gave their input not saying that you know you have to have your family all up in your business but this could be your ancestral family here they're trying to plant some type of seed here or have some type of child here or they're they're watch over your children it's something about the children but they're planting a seed of inspiration here Bringing in new love, if you haven't already, or if you're not already experiencing love at this moment. All right, this was an interesting reading today. You got me up out of my element. I'm usually calm and stoic. <laughs> I'm over here smiling and stuff, because you can like feel it in the reading. It literally feels like your ancestors are like that one. <laughs> funny stuff man let's pull some romance angels as a tarot reader you don't want readings to end sometimes <laughs> let's pull some romance angels or cows let's see what the universe additional messages the ancestors let's pull some hoodoo tarot really know what the matter of fact I'm gonna pull some hoodoo tarot <laughs> This is just a sample. I was saying that I was gonna. I was saying that I was gonna sample the Hulu Tarot. So for the air signs today, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, wherever your placements may be, this is an opportunity to learn something as air signs always do. It's crazy how this, this reading is flowing. Literally my first time using this deck on camera or in a reading. I was uh, reading a book last night. Very interesting characters. African spirituality. Well, not even African spirituality. It's uh, black or African American spirituality. Native, Native African. <laughs> Supposedly black men were some of... They held some of the largest cult groups like they were like the most highly spiritual and the most sought after and they hold the most masonic groups pretty much so pretty much spirituality came from black folks again proves it <laughs> and in the way the world works it flips everything upside down to confuse people all right so yeah ancestors i wanted to speak how long is this video all right air signs getting special treatment today Alright, ancestors, what messages do you want to bring in for the collective today? Ancestors, what messages do you want to bring in today for the air sign collective?
All right, one more shuffle. All right. Five of baskets. I don't even remember what the baskets are. <laughs> I have to pull out the deck. Or pull out the book. All right, so we have the Mother of Knives, of course, which would be Queen of Swords, I believe. So this is Libra Energy. All right, so allowing others to speak, um, calculating, uh, saying uh, the right things, dealing in justice and balance, uh, fair institution, um, will be wise counsel, uh, some form of a thought leader. We also have ten of sticks, which would be ten of wands, releasing burdens. <laughs> why, why do I feel like your ancestors want to release their baggage on you? <laughs> All right, mother of coins. Queen. Okay, they're releasing a lot of things on you at this time. We have queen of uh, pentacles or queen of coins. Ooh, that's what they're releasing on you. Do I even want to pull any more cards? I'm not even going to pull any more cards because of you know. Got to pull more cards. <laughs> so that was five from the Light Sears. We'll do five from the Hoodoo Tarot. Seven of Coins. Your skills and your talents are going to be able to bring you great abundance. We have ten of Baskets. Ten of Baskets. Is that ten of Water? Is it ten of I think ten of baskets is let's find baskets. Alright, so ten of baskets would be the community, which would be what? that ten of cups All right. mm -hmm. happy family spiritual contentment consensus harmonious relationships and blessings All right. so then yeah so then this would be five of baskets hmm fighting emotional um, triggers or uh, I'm not necessarily getting fighting emotional triggers you're overcoming emotional triggers so you're being blessed with a whole lot of gifts um, some of them financial some of them are the gift of the divine the divine doesn't really take on petty energy so small fights and arguments and things like that you know we don't really we don't really deal in that type of low vibrational energy but you're very blessed at this time your ancestors are wanting to dump a lot of things on you I mean it seems like you have a very large destiny I would say for the most part everyone has free will some of us <laughs> are called <laughs> um, the, a lot of wisdom a lot of wealth a lot of baggage a lot of uh, I guess I would say gift talents power to help overcome these trials and things that you'll probably come across in your lifetime but at the end of the road you'll have a happy family you'll have a happy community you'll have consensus you'll pretty much have everything you want it's just that we have to learn to over overcome whatever things that uh, hold us back but um, that was an interesting sample of the hoodoo tarot upcoming this Halloween I'll be doing mostly hoodoo tarot pullings uh, and tarot card readings just to beef up my skills on the Hulu tarot deck very interesting very interesting learning about african-american spirituality and things like that some of the most powerful men in history some of the most powerful men in history <laughs> ancestors that message came together perfectly all right air signs always learn something new every day keep a clear channel uh, and be mindful and aware, man. Catch you guys on the next one. Be safe.